What's up YouTube? This is Modoc Bass Reaper coming at you with another video. This will be my second video this morning. I did, had to remake my last video about my Topps MSK, which was this guy. But moving on to the topic at hand, as this video is about, we're going to talk about the Gerber Gator. This one is the uh, drop point, fine edge. This one is made out of 154 CM steel. And uh, I got another one right here. We'll show that in a minute, but let's open the box, shall we? Be glad to get rid of some of these boxes because I can't, you know, I get excited about a knife that I open it from its box. I try to keep the box until I do videos of, like a box like this. I took it out when I first got it to see it, check it out. But then I put it back in its box like it never, you know. But I do have to say, I have another knife coming in the mail from Blade HQ is where I got this, this model, this variant. <clears throat> Stay tuned for that video in the next couple days. I should have it in the next two to three days from now. Can't wait to uh, do a review on that product, uh, that knife. But anyway, this is the drop point. This is made out of uh, 154 CM steel. And as I, you know, show you, also explain the history of why I chose to purchase a Gerber Gator is because my dad had the original. And what do I mean by that? Is the Gerber Gator was introduced <clears throat> to the knife industry and the knife community, community of knife enthusiasts, collectors, whatever you want to call yourself. I like knives. I like collecting them. I like using them for day-to-day -day use on a daily basis. But anyway, 1991 is when they introduced, Gerber introduced the Gator series. Hence the reason why they called it that is because the handle's made out of that and it looks like the texture of a gator skin. It has that gator grip feel to it, the texture. <clears throat> the original had the same type of grip uh, design. And uh, it hasn't really changed since 91. So for the last 33 years, um, they haven't changed the like design too much the only difference is different steel types from the 1991 uh well the 90s models from the 90s including the uh 1991 earliest model to now what i'm trying to say is since then to now they've uh, uh changed steel types over the years because i believe somebody said they had one of the earlier models from like 91 92 93 i forgot or it might have been the uh, mid 90s model uh gator they said they had one of the early models out of 650 steel which I didn't know that was a steel type. I mean, I know a lot of steel types, but there's some steel types that they use for knife making that interest me and makes me go like, hmm, that must be a good steel type. Never heard of it. Wonder how good it is. You know, it interests me. So anyway, this is the other variant that I have. I got this from Bass Pro. This is the clip point. This is made out of 440 steel. Uh, 
and it's made out of the same handle grip uh, material. Well, duh, I mean, the Gerber Gator uh, series uses that for all their knives. Because I think in the mid-90s, they made a model that was a fixed blade variant. Um, so, let's put the... Oh, yeah, by the way, it's funny how the knives are made in America, but the pouches that they come in are made in China, though. Just to let y'all know if y'all decide to go out and purchase you one of these. Uh, what do I think? <clears throat> I'm going to keep this short for this video because my next video is uh, very interesting. It's a first for me, an, another knife that I've never owned before. It's the first of its kind that I've ever owned. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up right after I end this video and upload it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, would I recommend purchasing the Gerber Gator series? Go out and get yourself one. It's a uh, uh, favorite amongst knife enthusiasts. Uh, it's a classic. Like I said, they've been around since 1991 is when they were introduced. But my opinion is if you like the knife, go pick yourself one up. You can get them from just about any knife company on the websites. I got mine from Bass Pro Shop, the uh, clip point, and my drop point that was in the box came from uh, Blade HQ. So, like I say, you can pick these up from Blade HQ. You can probably get them from Gerber's actual official website. Uh, Bass Pro, probably Walmart too. I mean, I don't know. But I would pick one up if I were you. I mean, they're excellent knives. If you want something by Gerber that's a very unique knife, pick yourself one up. That's all I can say. I'm not, like I said, my opinion. They're excellent knives. Hope you enjoyed this video. And... Looking forward to the next video, which is coming up next.